Hello there, welcome to the second part of my video putting my PC together. So I'm starting off with doing a little bit of cable management. The motherboard cables aren't long enough so I'm using a little extender so that I can put the motherboard power cables behind the motherboard and route it around the back so they're not getting in the way of the airflow. So yeah, I'm just tucking those in there. And I'm going to look at doing the fans. Um, the fan at the moment is just held on by screws. Um, I'm going to replace that and use rubber, like rubber grommets. Um, and they isolate the fan from the case. So they stop any kind of vibration noise. So that's what I'm doing here. There's four, there's four of those to do. Uh, apologies for the state of my hair in this video. This was we have just come out of lockdown, but there uh, was still months wait for a hairdresser, so um, I had my hair done at this point. So yeah, I'm looking a bit raggedy and I haven't had my hair done for probably about 10 months. Um, so yeah, it's had seen better days. Um, don't worry, it's all been sorted now. But uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I've gone past caring at this point. Um, yeah, so just get these rubber grommets in, putting them nice and tight. And then, yes, as I say, they just isolate the fan from the case. And as it's a thin metal case, it will just rattle with, with normal screws in. Um, yeah, doing a bit more cable management behind there, get some cables put away. Checking where the power cable and data cable are going for my um, DVD and drive getting that all sorted out right so now I need to remove parts from my old computer this is my old machine I've taken the front case off um, so now I need to remove the card reader this is what I'm removing here taking that out and then I'm going to remove my uh, hard drive I'm going to have to put the card reader in a caddy because the new case hasn't got a three and a half inch drive bay. It's only got to be five and a quarter, so uh, I think I do that off camera, but I put the um, card reader in the caddy. Um, I know I've put that away, but I need to get it back in a minute. Here we go, I need to get the graphics card out, because that's one of the important things. I need to get my graphics card out. That's stuck in with a clip at the bottom as well. Which in this case is really hard to get to. It's buried underneath the graphics card. You've got to push it down to be able to pull the graphics card out. And you do it with quite some force as well, which is a bit of a pain. But eventually I do get it out. And the other cable there was just a uh, a thermal sensor for the one in the um, fans. Um, that was a low profile case, and I'm going into a normal case, so I need to change the back plate over. So here I'm just undoing the back plate. Taking that off, and you can see a nice black one. It doesn't come through as black, I, I spray painted that black. Um, just to match the case, it looks better. And I was having a really tough time with the internal screw on this one. Oh, it took me several goes. I mean, I've clipped it here, but it took me hours to get this screw in. And you can see me sort of angrily wave it at the screen in a minute because I was so really annoyed with it. Uh, right now, so putting the hard drive in its caddy, the sliding caddy. Ooh, watch for that one falling off the table. Put it back on again. Um, so yeah, you have to push them into the hard drive and then slide it onto the caddy. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice the pack of um, hobnobs there on the uh, top left-hand side. I'm not sponsored by McVitie's, but if anybody wants to send me some hobnobs, chopped at ones preferably. I'll be very much appreciated. They are my favourite. So, um, yeah, I was possibly polishing off the back of those. I'll try and put my PCs together. This is the last bits and pieces I need to put the hard drive in. As you can see, I'm struggling with the, um, struggling with the grommets. I'll eventually get the hang of it and get them in. Well, I can't use screws like any normal component, I don't know, but there you go. So I'm just fiddling around a bit, making sure they're all in nice and tight. Yeah. Have a look at that. 
pointing and I'm showing you which direction they're going to the case. Right, grab the case, put it the right way around the armor. Won't go in there. There you go. Right, slide the hard drive in. All clips in, that's nice. No, I can't undo the case. I can't undo it that way, the armor. I was trying to get the graphics card out for some reason. Uh, now I'm realising I have my DVD-ROM drive in the wrong slot, so because the um, SATA cable won't reach, so just repositioning the what's well, Blu-ray drive really is not a uh, yeah it's Blu-ray drive. And just getting all those screws put back in. If I can find them, there we go. I get there eventually. Uh, right, so now I just route the cables around the back. That's quite nice. It's good that you can route them around the back, so you're not um, you're not seeing them at the front. So that's good. And I try and keep the cables around the back as much as I can. Yeah, trying to get the data cable in, then trying to get the power cable in. Uh, something's not quite right there. I don't think I've got far enough forward, so I'm just fettling with that. Let's get those cables in. They can only go in one way, but it's really fiddly. It takes me several attempts to get those in. Uh, this is why I'm voicing it over, because if I, if I tried to do this live, um, it would just be a video full of expletives as I'm swearing at it, so it's best that uh, I do the clean version. So here I am, just, just uh, putting the data and power cables into the hard drive. Okay, those all settled, but yeah, checking the hard drive's in there, and it is. Okay, yeah, it's still good there. Yeah. Oh, I've still got to do the... Um, goes up the other side. There we go. Time to put the graphics card in and you'll see me get this wrong because I think it's the top and bottom and it's not. Um, but you know, I still leave it in because I'm authentic, you know. Share the mistakes but it doesn't matter. It's just a case of putting it back. I couldn't put in this. Putting back in again. No, it won't fit. One slot, Leona. Never mind it. I want to blow it out. There we go. In it goes. See, it does look nice with that black back, black, black back plate, doesn't it? It looks really nice. The only thing that spoils it is the power supply unit. So um, I will replace. I will be replacing the power supply unit um, with a, probably a be quiet unit or something quieter because I can hear. You can probably hear it on the speaker here because I'm sat right next to it. But it's humming away there, and it's the noisiest thing in my computer. So I need to sort that out. It's not too mad, but there we go. Just putting the rest of the memory in now. So this gives me a total of 32 gigabytes of DDR4, uh, 3000 megahertz. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get it up to that um, speed. Um, yeah, I think it's incompatibility with the chip, so I can only get it to 2800. Bit of a shame, but better than nothing. Uh, I struggle with the case here, trying to get these screws on, they are really finicky. Um, there isn't much tolerance on that at all, so I keep fettling that to get them in. Um, but eventually I get there with a the screwdriver there. I do do the bottom one up, but then I put the front case on, and I notice that the DVD drive is poking out too far. I correct that later on. And the side panel, give it a quick test. Make sure putting memory in the hard drive. Make sure everything boots up, and we are into Linux. You done to? Okay, next day or probably actually quite a way on from this because you can see I've actually eagled iron amongst you. Well, no, because I have my head on at this point. So I have had my head on at this point. Um, so in goes the card reader. I think I had to wait for the um, adapter, so that's why it's, uh, I didn't put this in at the same time. So I had to wait on Amazon for, for an adapter. Not sponsored by Amazon, by the way. That's where I got the stuff from. 
Um, and now I realise I have to move the Blu-ray um, player, so I'm just going to undo the screws. Cables down to the USB internal connector. This is annoying because this is stuck on here, and I eventually have to use mole grips to get that off. But once I cut it off, I can get that one clipped on, and that's that put in. Now it's just a fan controller, and because the back fan is controlled by the motherboard, the front fan isn't. There's no speed controller, so I've, I've got loads of speed controllers lying around. So on a speed controller just so I can keep the noise down. It doesn't need to go at 2000 RPM so I can monitor the speed. And there we go. And time to another test. I like my tests. Let's make sure everything's alright. And we're back into Ubuntu, so thank you very much. <laughs>